On this day in 1970, Kent State University was thrust into the national spotlight after a National Guardsman opened fire on students protesting the Vietnam War. One America's Cameron Kramer looks at the Kent State massacre 46 years later. At 1224 on this day in 1970, a college campus would turn chaotic as Ohio National Guardsmen fire 67 rounds into a crowd of protesters, killing four students and wounding nine others. Just days prior to the massacre at Kent State University, President Richard Nixon announced that the Cambodian incursion had been launched by the United States. College students were especially on edge due to revised legislation that reenacted the draft lottery. On May 1st, 500 Kent State students would protest the Vietnam War on their Ohio campus, but the demonstrations quickly turned destructive and property was damaged. The events would continue for the next several days as a campus ROTC building was burnt down. On May 4th, the situation reached a boiling point. The National Guard marched towards the protesters as the demonstrators lobbed back rocks and other objects at the troops. According to an eyewitness, at 1224, a sergeant opened fire on the group with a 45 caliber pistol, starting 13 seconds of gunfire. Four students were killed and nine were wounded. Dean Kaler was one of those. When they started firing, I jumped on the ground and laid there and covered my head and said, oh my God, I hope I don't get hit. About that time, I got hit. The Kent State Massacre prompted a major response as hundreds of universities and high schools closed due to a nationwide strike of four million students. Neil Young wrote and recorded a song about the incident. This summer I hear the drum and four dead in Ohio. The song hit number 14 on the Billboard Top 100 charts. In the aftermath, eight of the guardsmen were indicted by a grand jury. They claimed to have fired in self-defense. A district judge eventually dismissed all charges against the men. After eight and a half years, a wrongful death lawsuit settlement was finally reached, and the state of Ohio paid out $675,000 to the victims. The total works out to roughly $3 million in 2015. Cameron Kramer, One America News.